Hey beautiful people, how is everybody doing? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, I'm Dan and today I'm gonna review one of my favorite moisturizers at the moment actually. This is the Isn't Tree Aloe Soothing Gel. This one is the moisture type, it has 80% aloe. There's um there's one with 50% aloe, so that's that's a more that's a lighter one. Now before I start the review, please consider following me on Instagram. I got a new Instagram for my skincare content. Please check me out there. Also, I have a Facebook account. I have, um, well, that, that's it, actually. Subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Ring that bell, guys, so you get notified every time I post something. And uh, yeah, basically that's it. I'm gonna start, as always, with the packaging. Very convenient. You just open it up like this. You have to squeeze the tube a little bit to get some product. It is a very thick gel, as you can see. But once you start spreading it onto your skin, it's, it's basically like, it feels like a serum. It sinks into the skin pretty fast. However, it leaves a little bit of a tacky finish in the beginning. You have to wait a couple of minutes until it's, it disappears. However, it never disappears completely. You can almost feel this, this I don't know how to describe it, like protective layer. On, you, can, you can feel it on your skin, definitely. I don't think it... It ever like disappears completely or something and that's a good thing especially for a nighttime moisturizer uh, now um, when it comes to the price I have no idea how much I pay for this one it is one of the most affordable moisturizers actually I'm gonna put the price in here so you can see uh, I think I paid like 12 14 dollars for this one but you get 150 mils which is like three times more than than an unusual moisturizer that's five fluid ounces. Uh, when it comes to irritant ingredients, Isn't Tree is always very good at this. No fragrance, no alcohol, no irritants. It has a pretty clean ingredient list. I can recommend this one for all skin types. However, different skin types are gonna use this one in a different way. If you have a super oily skin, you can use this one as a standalone moisturizer. I use this one in the morning as my moisturizer. I use it in the evening. Not alone, I would apply like three drops of squalene oil, mix it on my hand and this way I make it more emollient because I need more moisture in the evening, especially because I'm using Differin. Uh, but if you have dry skin, you can use this one as, I don't even know, as like your serum or your first moisturizer, then you apply another one which is more occlusive. Uh, but everybody can use this one, I, I would say. But again, I'm actually inclined to recommend this one more for uh, people with oily skin. That's gonna be, this is gonna be your moisturizer. It feels pretty soothing on the skin, pretty refreshing. Um, it helps with the redness also. I'm gonna check now the ingredient list. By the way, regarding the ingredient list, this one, it actually had a different ingredient list in the past. They updated it and I have the newer version. I think we have the ingredient list on the package, but it, it is in Korean. I may be wrong, I don't know. So, uh, first ingredient, we have um, aloe juice, 80%, that's a pretty high amount. Aloe juice, everybody knows about aloe juice. It's great for the skin, it feels calming, soothing. It has a little bit of an antioxidant effect. However, some people are overestimating this, this ingredient. It's not that great. However, are overestimating this ingredient. It is not that great. It is good for the skin, but it's not gonna do miracles. A second ingredient, we have water, then we have a butylene glycol, which is a good humectant, a good penetration enhancer. We have glycerin as the fourth ingredient, which is my favorite humectant. It's my personal favorite. It's better than hyaluronic acid for me, but we have a lot of hyaluronic acid in this one. So we have a centella asiatica extract, great for soothing the skin, great for um, redness, inflammation. We have also green tea leaf extract, Another good one, basically the same properties as Centella Asiatica. We have licorice root extract. Now that's a good ingredient and it is the fifth one, the sixth one. Well, it is it's a pretty good amount, I would say. This one is, is also soothing. It is also great for inflammation, for redness. But this one also helps with a post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. But also, I think there are some studies proving that this one is good for melasma, for that kind of pigmentation. And uh, yeah, overall, it's a really, really good ingredient. I always love it when I see it in, in the ingredient list. 
We have sodium hyaluronate, which is a uh, concentrated form of hyaluronic acid, betaine, another good one, fig extract, a lot of good extracts, um, alba fruit extract, uh, ginkgo biloba extract, aloe leaf extract, have four types of hyaluronic acid after this. They say because these have different molecular sizes are gonna go deeper into the skin, not so deep. It's basically a marketing gimmick, in, but whatever. I mean, it's always a good thing to see different types of hyaluronic acid. Uh, we have raspberry extract, we have polyglutamic acid, which is uh, attracts even more water than hyaluronic acid, another good one. Well, lower on the ingredient list, we have some allantoin, panthenol, both soothing for the skin, hydrating, uh, citric acid, which is going to be a, um, it's going to act as a preservative in this one, some thickening ingredients. Basically, that's the ingredient list. A lot of plant extracts, but good plant extracts, not uh, fragrances or essential oils. Um, the antioxidant power of this one is pretty high, I would say. This one is very hydrating, it's super hydrating, as you can tell from the ingredient list. A lot of humectants, uh, it's gonna be great for dehydrated skin, for oily skin. You, if you have um, severe dehydration, I would definitely pair this one with some, a couple of drops of your favorite oil. I always recommend squalene oil because it's the safest when it comes to acne prone skin. Uh, you mix it on your hand, it gets... Let me actually show you the process because it's very interesting the way the texture changes. So I have the um, tree cream in here and I'm gonna apply this squalene oil which is also clear. I'm gonna apply three drops. Now you mix it... How, how should I show you this? You start mixing it into your hand and it changes the color and the um, transforms into this like creamy gel texture. I guess you can, you can see. Very interesting. And then I apply this on my face. It's much more emollient, uh, better when you have dehydrated skin. By the way, my face looks pretty bad at the moment. I my diet has been pretty bad lately and I'm, I've been trying a lot of uh, products, some of them are not fungal acne safe. So I have all these new pimples here, here. My pores look pretty bad. I hope I'll get back to normal pretty soon. Um, oh, and I forgot to mention, this one is actually fungal acne safe. So great for acne prone skin also, great for fungal acne, my CZ colliditis. Uh, yeah, definitely give it a shot, very affordable, nice ingredient list. Not super occlusive, well not occlusive at all actually, it's not occlusive, it's just very hydrating. Uh, but one of my favorite moisturizer at the moment, and um, as you can see, I used half of it already, I don't know if you can see or not. It is here basically. Um, I really like this one, I hope you guys enjoyed this review, I hope you find it helpful. If you did so, give this video a thumbs up, let me know in the comments below what other products I should check the moisturizers, what questions do we have, leave them in the comments below, I may address those in future videos or answer to those down below. And uh, yeah, I love you all, I will see you all in my next video.